There's so many advantages to digital lettering and calligraphy. For a start, once you buy your textures and your brushes, they never run out. So within the Apple Pencil itself, you've got endless amounts of styles that you can use without the need for physical storage space. And you don't have those consistent costs like pen and paper or paint. It's completely mess free, totally portable and the list goes on. But there are those occasions that rather than printing something, you do really want that handmade look and feel. So today I'm going to show you how it's possible to use your iPad as a light box so you can transfer your digital lettering onto paper. With this approach, you can have all the advantages of refining your work using layers in Procreate. And once you're happy with the result, we can disable the iPad screen functionality and use it as a light box to to trace the design onto paper. This is a really convenient way to make sure that you have your artwork completely refined before you take those steps to take it to physical paper. So you could save out your final design as a PNG, but what I found happened was when I opened it in the Photos app, it would enlarge it to fill the screen and that ended up being larger than I wanted it to physically be when I trace over it. So I'd zoom in in Procreate to the size that I want to trace it at and then just take a screen grab from there. To do that you use your volume button and your top button. You tap those both at the same time and that takes a screen grab. So then I can just go into the photos app and open that image and that's about the physical size that I want to draw it at. So now we have our design ready. I'll show you how to turn on guided access to lock your iPad. So in order to lock our iPad so that we can use it as a light box, if you go into settings and then accessibility on the left hand side, down the bottom here, there's guided access. I want to toggle that to on. Something that's important to do as well, I'll explain why later, but go into your passcode settings, make sure face ID is on, but then see this set guided access password, tap that and enter your passcode. I'll tell you why in a second, but just for now, trust me, that is an important step to do. Right, so we're all set up. Now we just go back into photos and open the image that we're gonna trace. And now we just press the top button three times and that will initiate guided access. If you haven't used it before, you'll get a start button at the top right and you just simply tap start. And now you can see here, the iPad is completely locked. You can't move the screen at all. So now we're ready to go and we can trace over the design so I suggest quite a thin paper to start with you can always transfer onto something heavier later but I'm using a 70 GSM paper this De La Roni paper and I use a Stadler lead holder pencil to trace the design but a word of warning here as well you want to be really careful with the tracing part obviously because you don't want to puncture through the paper and scratch your iPad so be careful that the lead that you're using in your pencil is is soft and you're not pressing too hard as to sort of go through and indent your iPad screen so this is definitely you know something to really keep in mind and then I just go over it with a micron pen so these are very good archival ink quality pens and they would vary in width so I've got a three here and an eight so I would just outline with the three with that finer size and then fill it in with the eight and then I cut out the design and was able to produce something handmade so you have all the advantages of composing your design digitally so that you can get it right and but you're not limited to the iPad or for it to be a printed um, piece you can actually transfer it to physical paper using this method. So you remember I mentioned earlier there was an important step for your passcode. So the reason I said that is because when I did it, I got stuck. So you basically tap the button at the top three times and the passcode screen comes up. That's all well and good, but my version of the keyboard was expanded. So I couldn't even enter the passcode properly because the keys were just enlarged so much. Didn't matter whether I changed the orientation of the iPad or um, I troubleshooted with Apple on the phone for quite some time to try and get through this issue but it turned out that I was able to force restart so if you do get stuck know that you can get out of it just by doing a force restart and that's volume up once volume down once and then hold on the top button 
and that will um, bring up the turn off iPad screen. You just slide the slider and it will turn off and then you can restart your iPad. So don't worry if you do get stuck, you can do that. But as I said, follow that step in the guided access settings. So there's this passcode settings, tap that and then set guided access passcode. Enter your passcode and you should be good to go. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. If you're interested in learning more about digital calligraphy, you can head to ipadcalligraphy.com forward slash free, where you can download your free starter kit. I hope you enjoy that and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.